Hello, and thank you for joining us for Community Crossroads. I'm Carolina Astrain. Here's a look at what's coming up on today's show. We celebrate Bob Phillips, the Texas country reporter in the show's 50th season. We now welcome Bob Phillips, the Texas country reporter. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thanks for having me, Carolina. Well, it's our pleasure. And so tell us everything we need to know about this 50th season and what is making it stand out oh, among the rest. My gosh. Well, first of all, who, whoever thought when we started this little show back in the early 70s, we would be celebrating something like a 50th season. Amazing. That was never intended, uh, as a matter of fact, this was going to be a one-time only special 30-minute program that back in 1972. But when it first went on the air, it was so popular that it just kept going. And here we are, you know. Uh, I, I, some people like to say I couldn't find another job, but I never looked. So, <laughs> you know, here we are. We're doing a lot of things. Uh, we're, we're doing a lot of look backs at stories that we've done over the last 50 years. Uh, we have a thing called Golden Moments, where we have just little snippets of, of shows and stories that we show on every episode this 50th season. Uh, we're doing a symphony tour that I can tell you about. I, I wrote a book. I mean, we've got all kinds of activities that are going on for this year. And I'm sure there'll be some <coughs> golden moments shared from your visits in the crossroads. We will do that. We've done a lot of stories in this area over the years. And so talk to us about the early days. You mentioned <laughs> you didn't expect this show to have, to live past even a year. Let I mean, me tell you this. What was it like to make that phone call? I was a real reporter once. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, going out doing news, uh, covering fires and wrecks and, uh, and school board meetings and city council meetings and, and all of that kind of stuff that you do when you work news. I, you know, I started off as a, uh, as a news photographer, going out on stories with reporters when I was 18 years old. Wow. Um, I traveled with the Dallas Cowboys for 13 years, was on the sidelines of every game that they played during that time, during the, the Tom Landry years, and went to three Super Bowls with them. Uh, I, I became a reporter and a news anchor and did all of those things. But my heart was in telling stories about people. Um, I, you know, I, I had that news bug, but not as much as I probably should have, because I would elect to go out and do a story about, you know, some guy who, who had poured his whole life and soul into making some little widget, you know. <laughs> and I was always curious, not how he made what he made or she made what she made, but why they did it. And that was what led me into this whole thing. Uh, whenever I got a chance, I would do those, those feel-good stories, and they would slip them into the news program, mostly on the weekends if they didn't have enough real news. <laughs> and they would put those on. And somehow they became popular with the audience. Well, people and love those stories. I begged my boss, you know, our, our news director, and said, let me package these into a program. And lo and behold, they let me do it and wow. it caught on. That is so exciting because in TV news, you feel a little bit, you know, you only have a minute 30 or you could do a VOSA whole story. So you feel a little pressed and the pressure, right, for brevity. You have no idea how many times I would do a story and the producer or the news director would say, Bob, you're supposed to do that in a minute 10. <laughs> and mine would be three minutes long. Oh yeah, that's an eternity you in know, broadcast and, news. And I would be begging for more time than that. So uh, that's, you know, that's how I ended up doing a 30 minute weekly show as opposed to doing news segments. Back well, then. it's certainly paid off. And I know you have adoring fans and viewers all over the state and the, war and the country. And let's go ahead. We'll take a quick break. Coming up, we get to know Kelly Phillips, Bob's other half and co-star on the Texas Country Reporter. Don't go anywhere. 